Welcome to the video lecture of Comparative Design. This video discusses the topic Type Checking of Module 4. Under the syllabus of Type Checking, we have two topics, Type System and Specification of a Simple Type Checker. First, the topic is Type System. We know that Semantic Analysis Phase performs Type Checking. Semantic Analysis Phase comes after the parsing and before the intermediate code generation. In this case, we have set the position of type checker in between the parser and intermediate code generator. That is, the type checker is between the parser and intermediate code generator. That means it takes the position of semantic analyzer. Semantic analyzer performs type checking. The input to type checker is syntax tree or we can say it is the parse tree which is the output of parser and output of type checker is syntax tree. It is actually the parse tree. It, is, it, it can be actually called as annotated parse tree which serve as the out input for the intermediate code generator. But in some compilers, all these process parsing, type checking as well as intermediate code generation can be done in a single phase parsing phase alone. So it depends upon the compiler type, the phases can be combined or, or not combined. So we can see the details of type system. Type checking is an important aspect of semantic analysis. So the semantic analysis means it performs type checking. One of the major function of semantic analysis phase is to perform type checking. We know that every programming language has got programming language construct. And for in, in this topic, we are actually seeing what is type checking, how it is done and we know that type checking means it is to be performed by the semantic analysis phase. That means semantic analysis deals with the syntax, director, translation and all. So type checker implements a type system. Type system is made up of some type expressions. These type expressions are given are associated with the programming language constructs of a programming language. So what are things are there? If a programming language is there, there will be programming language construct. For each programming language construct, we have to form or assign type expression. So type system means there is a set of rules which can help the uh, compiler to associate type expression to the programming language construct. So this type system, so there will be different uh, type system for programming each programming language and using this type system, it can implement a type checker that is the, it can implement a phase of the compiler and which can perform type checking and this type type checker can be implemented using syntax error translation that is the summary of the topic so we can come to the details again every language has a set of type and rules for assigning type to language construct so as i have told you if there is a programming language there will be programming construct there will be set of type the data types, we know in the case of C programming language, there will be basic data type, there will be derived data types like that, a set of types are there. For each set of values, there will be a set of type. And based upon some rules, we can assign this type to programming language construct. Construct Example of programming language construct is looping construct, maybe a sequential uh, a flow order construct like that so many constructs are there so for each construct we have to associate the set of types using some set of rules so a language type system specifies which operations are valid for a type so what is the need of de defining a type system for a language is that based on the type system we can only say that a particular operation is valid because that operation can be performed over that particular type that is what it is meant. Then it can it can the uh, before the point type language type system specifies which operation are valid for a type, which can be more clearly explained with an example of a mod modulus operator. If we consider a modulus operator, a modulus operator permits only integer operands because modulus operation cannot be performed over floating point data types. So this type of restriction we can specify to a type system of a programming language. So that is the importance of type system for a programming language. 
then what is the aim of type checking if there is a type system we can perform type checking the aim of type checking is to ensure that the operations are used on the variables or expressions of correct type continuation of the type system here it is explaining that programming languages can be divided into three categories with respect to the type one is untyped untyped means it examples of untyped programming languages are assembly languages there are no type checking needs to be done second type is statically typed that means statical means compile time here all the type checking will be performed at compile time example of such programming language is alcohol class of languages another name for statically typed or compile time type checking done programming languages is strongly typed so if a programming language is said to be strongly typed means it can perform static checking that is it all type checking will be performed during the compilation time itself so the third category is dynamically typed dynamically means run time the type checking is done at run time examples of languages that follows dynamically typed category is that lisp scheme etc another example that we can distinguish static type type checking and dynamic type checking is that if you are given an variable integer variable int x and there is an expression y is equal to x by 0 x divided by 0 we know that division by 0 is an error so it will be an example of static type checking but if the statement is not like that suppose it is like that int x then int z then there is an expression x by z during run time, run time we are or during that means during execution if you are giving the input as 0 for z the expression will be evaluating like this x by z that is equal to s, x by 0 that means the division by 0 comes so but it is actually the error is um, shown at the during the run time so that is the difference between static type checking and dynamic type checking So again, we are going to explain type system in detail. Type system is a collection of rules for assigning type expression to various parts of a program. So program has programming language construct. We have to assign type expression. And the, so the next term came type expression. So we next, uh, next we will be uh, dealing more with type expression. So type system means using a set of rules, we are assigning type expression to programming language construct. Then different type system may be used by different compilers for the same language. That is, if there is a C programming language, if there are two compilers, um, these two compilers can support different type system. Let us uh, make it clear, more clear with an example. In the case of uh, C compilers, uh, that is Turbo C compiler and uh, GCC compiler, there are two compilers. We know that by default for a function declaration, the return data type is void for uh, turbo c compiler whereas in the case of gcc compiler the return data type is int the default return data type is int but even though both of them uh, are using the same programming langu language c it support different type system that means different set of rules similar example for from the pascal is given here in pascal type of an array include the index set therefore if function with an array parameter can only be applied to arrays within the, uh, with that index set. That means when, when we specify array, we have to specify the index also in the case of declaration of array for a Pascal programming language. But there are many Pascal compilers which allow index set to be left unspecified when an array is passed as a parameter. That means some of the Pascal compilers will need not require the say index set to be specified along with the array but not all compilers that is why we have said that different type system may be used by different compilers for the same languages then coming to again the relation between type system and type checking if both the operands of um, arithmetic operators plus minus multiplication are integers then the result is of type integer that is some rules that we expect the type system to follow again the case of pointer operator pointer operator we know that int 
star PTR. Int k is equal to 10. PTR is equal to ampersand k. If three statements are consecutively written, it means that the PTR is a pointer variable pointing to an integer data type. Or we can say that pointer is PTR is pointing to a location that holds a in holds an integer value. So that we can say that the pointer value, pointer type depends upon the content of the uh, location. That is, if it is a uh, integer content, it can be called as integer point, pointer. So here, the type of operand is x, the type of result is pointer to x. Then, in the case of Haskell, the basic types are integer, char, float, boolean, etc. basic types. Subrange type, 1 is to 100. That means, if an array is having range from 1, 1 to 1000, a subrange of that array, 1 to 100 can be retrieved in the in Pascal. Another one is enumerated data type. Enumerated type, it is similar to that one in C programming language. So, another important data type is constructed type. Constructed type example is array, record, pointers, functions. We know that it is similar to the de derived data types in C programming language. If uh, int, char, float, etc. are basic data types in C, the derived data types in C programming language are array, pointers, structure, etc. So this is similar as the case we explained here for Pascal. Then coming to type expression. So a type checker means type checker need to implement a type system. Type system means a set of rules that we have that the uh, com, uh, com, uh, it compiler has to associate the programming uh, uh, to associate with programming language construct or it can use some set of rules to assign to progr um, programming language construct so the next we can see what is type expression type expression is to associate each language construct with an expression describing its type so, corresponding to each programming language construct, there will be type expression. What is the need of type expression? It can describe its type. It can be, type expression can be either a basic type or it is formed by applying operators called type constructor to other type expression. This is very important. The type expression can be either basic type or it can be formed by applying type constructors. If we perform some operation over the basic types, we can construct other type expressions. That is what meant in this statement. A type constructor applied to a type expression is a type expression. So, type constructor is an important point. That means if we are given a type expression, if we apply some operation called type constructor over a type expression, we can generate another type expression. A basic type is a type expression. There are, are two other special basic type, type error and void. These are also important. Type error means it is also a, a type expression. It denotes error during type checking. Then void means no type value. Next is type constructor. We can see which are the type constructor that we can apply over the type expression and can generate new type expression. All right. Array can be generated by applying type constructors. That is, if capital T is a type expression, then array i, t is a type expression denoting the type of an array with elements of type T and index set i. That means if we are specifying array. i is the index. t is the type of the array. So, we are applying a type constructor. Array is a uh, constructed data type. So, we, if we, are applying, we are applying a type constructor and generating the type expression for array. So, where, where, v, uh, where a capital A means array variable a, it is actually an array with an index 1 to 10 of integer. It can store 10 integer elements and its name is capital A. So, what is the type expression corresponding to capital A? Capital A has type expression array 1 is to 1 etc up to 10 comma integer. So, this is the type expression corresponding to array capital A. So, this will be stored as the type system for a given programming language. Then, another one constructor is product. If capital T1 and T2 are type expression, then the Cartesian product T1 cross T2 is a type expression. 
then another one example as record that is similar to the database record that is what meant in this statement if there is a table table consists of so many record each record consists of different fields so record it applies to a tuple formed from field name and field type consider the declaration type row is equal to record so what is the record called row then addr integer its field address field it is defined as an integer type lexeme another field array character array its index range from 1 to 15 then so record it consists of two fields addr and lexeme and its type is mentioned next we are going to declare a table that consists of this record so var var table colon array 1 to 10 of row that means this table contains rows how many rows 10 rows so the type row has type expression so we are going to create the type expression for type row the type row has type expression record the fields are address and lexeme address what is the type integer address by integer then lexeme it is an 15 element character array so this is the type expression for record and the type expression for table is array 1 to 10 comma row then another type of constructor uh, another type of type expression that we can perf uh, we can generate using type applying or generate by apply, uh, using the type constructor is pointer i already explained the pointer uh, pointer means it depends upon the object type it's pointing to then another one is function function means a function has got input argument as well as the return data type here a function f is mentioned here a and b are input arguments they are of type character and the output argument or return type is mentioned here it is a pointer integer pointer integer pointer so function maps domain set to range set b gives r this means the in, d means domain means the input argument r means the return data type it is a range so it is denoted by type expression d gives capital r for example mode has type expression int in it gives the int that means modulus operator can be applied over integer operands and it will return an integer data type function f a comma b colon k r its returning an integer pointer is denoted by the type expression k r cross k r gives pointer of integer type expression may contain variables whose values are themselves type expression so we have seen so many examples of type expression and each type expression can contain values whose values can themselves be again type expression so another point is a type checker implemented type system and the next important point is syntax error type checking is a simple method to implement a type checker so that is a summary these three points are the, these two points are the summary of the Uh, contents we have discussed till now so if we have if there is a programming language there is a pro, there is programming language construct for each programming language construct using rules we can assign some type expression so that we can form a type system for each programming language and type system can be implemented by a type checker how the type checker can be implemented it's uh, using type system it is with the help of syntax error translation so next is the specification of type checker next second topic or uh, under the type checking it, that is to specify type checker for a simple language type checker is a translation scheme that synthesizes the type of each expression from the type of its sub expression so it uses a syntax to translation scheme it synthesizes the type of each expression from the type of its sub expression the type checker can handle arrays pointers statements and function consider a language with the following grammar which consists of a sequence of declaration followed by a single expression so the grammar is the productions are p is d colon e a semi colon e p means program then d declaration e expression d is d semi colon d or the another alternative is id colon t then t can be a type id means identifier d can be declaration statement e means expression t can be character integer or array whose index is number of type t 
and another one is pointer t can be of type pointer e can be expression can be literal number that is num e or it can be modulus operation or it can be array e of sub index that is specified as square bracket then an exponential operator that is the pointer operator expression having a pointer then so we have discussed a grammar for a particular language and next we are going to develop the uh, translation scheme so for the translation scheme we are assuming that basic types are char int and type error all arrays are starting at one and if there, it's a character array of 256 it may it has a type expression array one etc up to 256 comma char then so translation scheme for the above grammar is d gives id colon t that is id is identifier is of type t so before that particular uh, production the action to be performed is we have to enter that id information of id into the symbol table along with its type so that type they will be getting it from the productions t gives char where the synthesized attribute type will be getting its value pointer then array of well, the array can be t dot type is equal to array x1 is to etc to num t1 dot type so this is the transistor example of a translation scheme for a for the given grammar so uh, so this uh, we can also say that these are the rules for simple table entry because this contain the uh, this particular translation statement so coming to the type checking of function type checking of function is also important it was asked for a uh, previous university uh, question as a, a small essay type checking of function e gives e1 or e2 e1 e2 within bracket so this means that it is a function uh, then what is the trans state um, of, uh, ex translation scheme that e2 dot type is equal to s and e1 dot type is equal to s gives t that means if the return type it, this is the in input argument if it is of type s then the return type is of type s from the s it is returning t then the expression will be getting the type then t else type error that is a type checking of function next type checking for expression type checking for function is over it is important another one type checking for expression this is also important e is literal the corresponding translation scheme is e dot type is equal to char the type attribute synthesized attribute will be assigned by the type system if we are getting a literal expression so in the case if you are give in the programming language it is taking a number value that means the type system will be assigning the synthesized attribute value type integer to this e is num in the case of identifier it is a peculiarity that it is it uses the simple table lookup because inside the simple table the identifier is stored and its particular corresponding data type is also stored so from that it, uh, that synthesized attribute type has to retrieve the value of the data type of the identifier and that will be assigned by the type system to this expression in the case of mode operator modulus operator the e1 mod e2 e1 and e2 the type should be integer and the in, and the um, expression should also be assigned the integer type otherwise type error this is the case of array e1 e2 within square bracket that is if e2 dot type is equal to integer that means index is all index all, always can be specified as integer and e1 dot type is equal to array of s comma t array is the index index set and t is the type of the array so then the type of the expression will be t because array uh, array a then 1 to 10 1 is 1 to 2 3 etc 10 comma int that means the array type is int otherwise error so again pointer if pointer even the type of pointer for even is to be identified that pointer of t that will be assigned to the type of the expression by the type system otherwise type error the next to next uh, topic is type checking for statement this is also important 
statements typically do not have value special basic type void can be assigned to them that is an important point so coming to the type checking for statement it denotes the type checking for condition statement then while statement then assignment statement identifier is equal to expression you know that if there is an expression that expression should be returning some value and that value should be stored in an identifier that can hold the same type so if id dot type is equal to equal to dot type both id type and expression type should be similar that will be stored into the statement type so if a statement type itself has no type so it will be stored as void otherwise type error in this case if e then s1 if condition condition means always a boolean operation so if e dot type is equal to boolean then s1 dot type s1 dot type it is void then that will be assigned to s dot type else type error here also while e do s1 e is an expression it is a boolean operation so that boolean value will be identified and that will be uh, then s1 dot type the statement will be executed and the statement type will be void that will be assigned to s dot type otherwise type error here s1 colon s2 or semicolon s2 that means different statements are there s1 dot type can be void s2 can be void so s dot type will be 